what's up guys and welcome to this tutorial so hope you are enjoying my aws lambda tutorial so today uh, i'm going to start a tutorial series probably a new tutorial series on how to deploy a flask application on an ec2 instance so yeah uh, welcome to part one of how to deploy flask application on an ec2 instance so probably in this tutorial we are going to uh, launch or create the EC2 instance and probably we will do some initial setup so yeah let's get started let's move on to EC2 management console so as I said we are going to launch an instance so click on launch instance so in this step one uh, we are going to choose an amazon machine image so we will be using ubuntu as our operating system so we will select ubuntu server 18.04 lts now in this step 2 uh, we need to choose an instance type so i will probably go with t2 medium um, that is around 4 gb of ram and 2 virtual cpus you can either go with t2 micro or t2 small so let's select the instance and move on the next step so probably in the third step uh, we are going to keep this configuration as it is uh, we are not going to change uh, any of this config so let's move ahead and add a storage so by default uh, it's giving us the 8 gb of storage so i will make it as 30 i will suggest you to make it at least 15 GB if not 30 so once uh, you make it 30 or 15 GB let's move ahead and add some tags probably in this step 5 so we'll say it as flask application and click on next so in the step 6 uh, we will create a new security group so i will name it as flask application we'll give some description let's say flask deploy so we will keep these rules as it is so in the upcoming videos uh, we will revisit the security group so i'm not going through uh, the security group now so we will just give it a name and description and we will move on so review and launch so now we are in the final step so let's click on launch so here it will ask us to choose an existing pair or create a new pair so basically uh, ec2 instance uses public key cryptography to encrypt and decrypt the uh, probably login information so we will go ahead and create a new pair so it will create a private key for us uh, that we will download so that key will be used to SSH into our instance or probably so to say we will log in into the instance using that private key file. So we will name it as flask. You can name it whatever you want. So then uh, we need to download this key pair. So once it is downloaded, uh, click on launch instances. So probably it will take some time to initialize and launch the instance. So probably uh, I will cut the video here. And yeah, probably in the next tutorial we will see on how to access or connect to the EC2 instance that we have just created via SSH. So please like and subscribe to my channel for more and see you next time.